If you've ever wondered why the skin of your labia is darker than skin elsewhere on your body, then you have found the video for you. I'm an OBGYN and I'm gonna answer those questions today. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Dr. Jen Lincoln. I'm a board certified OBGYN and my channel is the health class you wish you had in high school. So if you found yourself here wondering about what's going on down there, I am excited to have you. Before I jump in, go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. If you've ever looked down here and wondered, is this normal? We are gonna talk about that today. But first we're gonna review a little bit of anatomy about what the heck is the labia or the lips or the vulva, what's going on? So using my handy dandy puppet here, I wanna point out this is the clitoris, this is the labia minora or the inner lips, and this is the labia majora or the outer lips. This is the part that has hair and these can either stick out like that they might be tucked in, one might be in or out, it's all, it's all normal. And when people ask me or have wondered about why the color might be darker down there, they're usually talking about the inner or the outer lip. It can be both of it. So let's dive in. So it all comes down to melanin. Melanin is the pigment that gives you color in your skin, in your hair, everywhere. And the labia has more melanin than most other parts of your body. And these levels of melanin can change throughout your lifetime, which is why you might notice a change in coloration. Usually it's just biology doing its thing. So like I said, hormones play a huge role, especially estrogen. And so here are the four times that you might notice changes in the coloration down there. The first is puberty. When you go through puberty, you're going through huge hormonal shifts. So that might be the time when you're starting to explore and look at your body, you go, huh, not only does it look different, there's hair, the, the size and the shape has changed, but now it's darker. And yes, that is normal. The second time you might notice the labia get darker is during pregnancy. Totally normal. This is the time in your life when you were having like the most estrogen in your body. This also explains why in pregnancy, you'll notice that your nipples are darker, especially the area around the nipples called the areola. And also a line on your belly called the linea nigra. If you wanna see more about, is this normal nipple edition, you can go ahead and watch this video up here. I think it hits a lot lot of common questions that I see. The third time that you might notice that the lips get darker is when you are on birth control. And it's for the same reason as when you're going through puberty or pregnancy, it's just that increase in some hormone levels. This is normal and not a sign for concern or you know a negative side effect of birth control. And the last time that you might notice some color changes are, is actually in menopause. So you might notice that it actually gets a little lighter. But we also need to talk about how friction and lifestyle can play a role in the color of your vulva. Have you ever noticed how your elbows or your knees might be a little darker than skin elsewhere on your body? That's usually because of friction. And so if you are wearing tight fitting clothes, especially if you're exercising, you're wearing leggings or you're not changing them frequently, that can also cause friction on the vulva and not only change the color of the vulva, but also the, the surrounding folds in the groin as well. This is because friction can stimulate melanin production over time. So exercise where you might really notice some friction is running or cycling. So if you're on the Peloton a lot, you might notice that. And also what you do down there in terms of hair removal. I have a whole video up here on like the safest ways and, and you know how to do that. But if you're shaving, that can cause friction as well and may cause the labia to darken. This is not a cause for concern but if you're worried, you can always change to more loose fitting clothing, changing what you do in your hair care routine down there and you know, wearing looser fitting things when you're exercising. But this is a personal thing. Your labia could also be darker because of something called insulin resistance. And if you're wondering how the heck does my blood sugar affect the skin color of my vulva, here's how. This can be a part of something called acanthosis nigricans, which is when we see a thickening and a darkening of the skin in other parts of the body, such as on the neck, in the groin folds, and yes, the genitals. This can be a sign of diabetes or insulin resistance or something, think of it like pre-diabetes. And so if you have that, your doctor may wanna do some blood work and test you for insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, something else like PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome or diabetes. I don't want you to freak out if you hear that and go, oh my goodness, this, this could be that. It absolutely could be but it also could be just friction or other things like that. So if you're worried, I want you to check in with your healthcare provider, but I don't want you to freak out. Genetics can also play a role. So yes, the color of your vulva can be genetically predetermined. Now, if you wanna ask your mom or your sister what theirs looks like, be my guest. I'm, you know, again, no shame in that game, but it's also fine if you don't feel comfortable too, but know, know that it can run in families to have slightly darker labia than others. Okay, this is the question you probably wanna know, which is, can you change it? Can you lighten your labia? I first want you to step back and think, why do you think that you need to? Is it because of what you've seen in porn or elsewhere? Is it because someone's made you feel shameful or dirty? Are there 
undertones of racism because we tend to think that darker isn't good in our society and lighter is better. I just want you to sit with that for a moment. I also want you to know that yes, there are products out there, um, chemicals and peels and lasers and all these things, but it's a sensitive area and they can have some nasty side effects. They can contain harsh chemicals that can cause burns, allergic reactions, and damage to the sensitive skin down there. So I want you to know that your labia are perfect just the way they are. They don't need to match other parts of your body, but if you are really concerned about this, please don't try to DIY it or see what's you know, on TikTok or somebody's trying to sell to you. Talk to your doctor, talk to a dermatologist and see what their thoughts are. And before I wrap up, I need you to know that there are some times where things are not normal, where it could be a sign of precancer or cancer or an infection. And so if you have noticed just an area is changing in color or you're noticing lumps or bumps or it just doesn't look right, I want you to get it checked out. And the sooner the better. So final thoughts, your body is beautiful just the way it is. It is entirely normal for your labia to be darker than other skin elsewhere in your body. If you have concerns, check in with a healthcare provider, but don't think you have to look like a certain way or if a partner shamed you, maybe that's a great piece of data to say, maybe I don't wanna be with this person, but you are beautiful just the way you are. Go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on the bell, drop your comments and questions, and as always, references and resources in the show notes below. Until next time, love the skin that you're in and take care of yourself.